Get ready to supercharge your live streaming experience with Restream Studio. Absolutely everything you need to run a successful live broadcast right from your browser. Restream Studio makes everything from inviting and managing guests to customizing your branding easy. Branding from Restream here. Now, let's get started by heading over to your Restream dashboard. From here, you have a few options. Your first two options are your instant streaming options, allowing you to go live either directly from Restream Studio or your encoder such as OBS Studio or vMix. Stream a video file and schedule an event both allow you to schedule your events. The first option enables you to schedule a pre-recorded video to go live, and the second option allows you to create an event that you will then stream to later. The final option is our new record only mode, which takes you to Restream Studio, turning it into a powerful video recorder. Now, let's get started by clicking schedule event. Remember, event scheduling through Restream supports studio, encoder, and video file streaming. However, for this tutorial, let's choose stream with studio. Scheduling an event gives us two benefits. First, we can add our channels during this process. And second, it gives our audience the heads up that we'll be going live and increases the chances that they'll show up. Once we've filled out the event information, we'll go ahead and click next. Now, here is where we can add the social destinations we want to stream to. So go ahead and tap on add channels. Let's take a look at how the process of adding channels works by getting Facebook added. Remember, you can add multiple Facebook pages at once with our professional plan. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get your channels added to your stream. Once you've got all your channels connected, you're ready to save your event. It's time to enter our live studio and get things ready for our upcoming event. To do that, click enter studio from the newly created event card. Welcome to Restream Studio. Let's tackle this dashboard from left to right, and then I'll show you how to get your stream set up. On the far left of our dashboard, you'll notice your studio sources. This section allows you to manage all of your guests and any of their screen shares along with any local videos you have. Moving over to center stage, you'll notice this, your stream preview. This is what your audience will see when you go live. Below that, you have your layout options. These layout buttons enable you to customize the layout of your guests and other sources you've added. And below that are your studio controls. These controls include the ability to mute and unmute your microphone disable and enable your camera, share your screen, invite guests, and add additional sources to your stream. Those sources include local videos on your computer, incoming RTMP feeds, and background music. Check out the links in the card above or in the description below to see an in-depth guide for each. Finally, you have your studio settings. This section gives you the ability to control your video input, video resolution, along with your audio input and output. Within the advanced setting area, you'll have the ability to toggle on various audio preferences, such as echo cancellation and noise suppression. Particularly if you're a musician, I suggest the high resolution audio setting. Additionally, pro members can toggle to 1080p full HD here. If you're looking to have a guest join your stream, you'll need to click here and send this link to the guest you want to join your stream. When your guest gets a link, they'll be able to open it within their browser and join the stream without needing to create an account. When your guest clicks the link, this is what they'll see. The controls here under the webcam are similar to the hosts and include a microphone, webcam, and screen share toggle. On the right hand side, they can choose their name and join the stream. As you can see, your guest gets access to a simplified version of your studio with the ability to see a live stream preview along with a private chat between only you and your guest. They'll also see chat messages coming here on the right hand side once you start the stream. Suppose you're looking for an experience closer to having a co-host. Instead, you can log into the same account with your guest and they'll be able to join your stream and have the exact same level of control that you have. You can also mix guests and co-hosts together for the best experience. Heading back to the host dashboard, you can see our guest is now listed on the left hand side with a few controls. Right now, your audience can't see or hear the guest. So let's change that by toggling them on. We can then maximize the guests to focus the stream on them or rearrange our sources by using the layout toggles. These controls also work on the host and all other sources on the stream. 
let's disable this guest preview for now and check out some of the other aspects of the studio. We're currently on the chat tab, which allows us to see all comments coming from our live viewers. From here, you can quickly enable our overlay to overlay the entire chat onto your stream and or highlight individual messages to create an immersive experience for your audience. The second tab here on the list is captions, which allows you to quickly add captions to your streams, such as pre-created questions, lower thirds, and nameplates. Once you've added the caption, you can then show or hide them at any time. Now, let's head into the graphics section. Here, you can easily brand your stream. We have a couple of graphics to get you started, but if you're looking to create your own, please make sure to follow the guidelines and the information bubbles. The video section allows you to play videos during your stream, such as an intro countdown or transition screen. Below that is our background section, which allows you to select what will play behind you when a source doesn't fill the entire screen. Choosing the cinema layout will let you better see what the background looks like. At the top of the graphics screen, you'll find the ability to change the default look of on-screen captions. Below that is a toggle for the color selector for your default look and various other quality of life toggles. Since you probably won't be changing your branding settings often, remember to hide them, you can click here. If you're running multiple shows, you can use our brand folders option at the top to create another look for your stream with individual captions and graphics per folder. Swapping between them would then look something like this. Finally, if you're looking to make edits to your event, you can click here at the top next to the go live button. All your channels connected to your event will then display here, including your own and any paired channels. And that's it. Everything is set up and we're ready to start our stream. Before we hit go live, let's make sure to scroll down on our graphics tab and select a countdown timer. That way, our stream has a bit of time to connect to each platform and our audience has some time to make their way to the stream. Now, let's go ahead and click go live to start our show. Thanks for checking out this tutorial on Restream Studio. Now it's time to start your restreaming journey. So click the link at the top of the description now to get started today. And hey, if you like this type of content, make sure to stick around by slapping that subscribe button and enabling notifications. As always, I've been Randy from Restream and have yourself a fantastic stream.